Alrighty guys, here we are and I've already got my middle stitch and I'll show you how to find it now. There are many ways you can do this. You can do the counting through each cluster side if you like, or you can just follow the top from the middle. So there's your middle cluster set from the previous round. You pop your stitch marker in there and that's your middle. If you want to do it the other way, there's your corner. You are counting from your corner, you are counting 11 clusters in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, and from this side, there's your corner again. You are counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there's your centre. All right, for this particular part, for part 5, all right? So you've got your centre, popping your stitch, your, sorry, try your hook, <laughs> hook there. 1, 2, and 3. Grabbing your next colour, I'm using the blue. Pulling your loop through like so, passing your tail over and chaining one single crochet in the same space. All right, pop your tail at the back there. And of course, you're jumping into your middle section with your double cluster set, which is your three double crochets. Chain one and two and three double crochets. You know all this, you've done it in previous rows, previous sections, chain one. Don't forget to chain one, yeah? And there's your three again, so you're going one, two, and popping your hook into that third stitch, which is your last one, with a slip stitch. Chain one and two, and once again you are going one, two, remember the chain is, is counted as a stitch, so one, two, and three single crochet in that stitch there yes and turning your work now my blanket is relatively big now so you're going to see that folded look occasionally and hopefully i don't forget to move it out the way <laughs> so you can see all right so now you know what you usually do you skip that space right there yarn over your hook pop it in your next space with two double crochets one and two and then you chain one and jump straight into your peak with your double cluster set of three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and three chain one and of course when we jump into that space right there i like to Crochet over the tail, not necessary, but that's what I do. So yarn over, pop it in your space, and do your three double crochets. Now let go of that too early and it's a little bit loose, so I'm going to give it a tug in a minute. Chain one. I'm just going to give that tail a tug. And it tightens up the whole thing, and we'll be weaving that in later anyways. Alright, so you are actually in that stitch there. So the chain classifies as one stitch, so you're going one two and slip stitch into the middle stitch chain one and two skip one the chain two and into your first stitch with a single crochet yes turning your work yet again and skipping that space right there jumping into your next with two double crochets chain one now you've got a space you're jumping into before your corner and you're doing three double crochets in there. You already knew, knew that from previous rounds. All right, two and three, chain one, and then jump into your corner or your peak with your three, two, three, three double crochets. Chain one and two and three double crochets. I know, I get a bit sing-songy. Sorry, guys, it happens occasionally. It happens. What do you do? Guess what? You're chaining one and you're jumping into that space with your three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. And, of course, you are jumping into the space between the blue and the grey with your three double crochets. One two and three chain one 
So we are actually in that middle stitch right there already. So you can see the blue in there. So you go one, your chain, two, and your double crochet, the first one there, three. You are slip stitching in there. Yes, now you're chaining one and two. Oops, don't do that. And then you're counting one, two, and the third one is actually your chain stitch. So pop your hook in that chain stitch with a single crochet. Turn your work. And once again, you are skipping that space there. You're jumping to this space here with two double crochets. That chain two there does act as your third one. So chain one. And there's your second, I'm sorry, your first space. Oh, I can't count, guys. <laughs> can't you tell? Okay, with the three double crochets, chain one, jump into your next space with your three double crochets. And chain one, jump into your peak with your double cluster set. What will happen is um, the one two you're chaining in the middle and then you're doing your next cluster set you'll actually learn the crochet lingo as you go along in your crochet journey you'll learn the lingo the language itself is it's a whole new language isn't it <laughs> chain one jumping in to your next space with the one cluster set three chain one jumping straight into your next space one two and three chain one now remember that space between the blue and the gray you need to put a set in there one two and three chain one and now what we're doing is we're going one two and you're popping your hook directly into that mm, nice tight stitch right there with a slip stitch chain one and two then you go one two and three and you're doing a single crochet in that stitch right there all right turn your work all right so what you're going to do skip that first space and put your two double crochets in your next space one and two chain one and you've got your full cluster set in there one two and three chain one three double crochets in there chain one three in your next two and three chain all one and into the corner with your double cluster set two and three chain one and two and your last set two and three chain one jump into your next space one, two, three, chain one, jump into your next space, two, and three, chain one, space, two, and three, chain one all right remember between your blue and your gray or whatever colors you use you're popping a full cluster set of one two and three chain one now this is where we're ending off with the blue so your blue this is where you need to be very careful your blue is actually in your chain stitch from memory okay so you are skipping one two and you are slip stitching into the third stitch there like so pull up your loop and give your work a cut all right i would like for you now to head off on your own 
and do one side there do your next side there and do your next side there and then meet me back here now to to find out where you start because you don't want to mess this up because when you start doing it like this you can actually mess up what side you're on that's your right side okay and if you like to help you out you can pop a little stitch marker pretty much on your right side so no matter where you look at it you know you're going to start your next point right here on this side of the blanket not that side this side of the blanket that's your right side and you know when you finish there you think oh okay i'm over here oh what side is it you'll know because you've got your stitch marker there and you'll know when you start here because you've got your stitch marker there so your job now is to head off on your own it's not the end of the tutorial it's just the end of this section i want you to do what we did just here three more times all right and meet me back here in well a moment for the video and for however long it takes you to do that <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get on with our second colour because this is our new way of doing our kaleidoscope blanket. Okay, remembering you are starting on this stitch marker, so you start from here where you find your centre and you do your three back. Okay, you start from here, and then when you've finished that one, you start from this side here. All right, so go ahead and do your oops, I want to bring it out, but I can't bring it out anymore. One two and three and meet me back here in a short while so you might want to put pause on that camera because it's going to go straight into our very next part where we're adding another color all right good luck guys all righty guys there is my four sides whoa <laughs> they're all done so i'm going to roll that up by the way we are starting our very next color not on the right side see where you finished off see where you finished off let's try that again be in frame next time mary see where you finished off that's exactly where we finished off because there's no end on this side but there's an end here so you're going to flip your work to the wrong side okay so your stitch marker is under underneath yeah so you're working on the wrong side and the way you know that is when you start your round you are going to be crocheting over that tail end grabbing your hook oh it's gone so far away from me <laughs> and there's our tail end leave that there now we are actually in that very first double crochet oh it's too far away how's that that's better we're right there in that very first double crochet so you need to chain count the chain one two and three all right grabbing your new color whichever that may be i'm grabbing the pink okay okay you can use any color combination you like this is just one combination chain one and a single crochet in the same space now that's far too close now yeah all right so pass that tail end at the back and remember what we do here we pop our first cluster set in that space but we crochet over that tail so yarn over your hook jumping in the space and crocheting over the tail with a one two and three chain one now popping your tail at the back and starting your cluster sets all right so your cluster sets they're rather big now these sections so what i'm going to do is let's have a look how big that is yep i'm going to grab a little stitch marker any one of these doesn't matter popping it in the space before your last cluster set there okay and I pop this on really fast and I will meet you when we get to that stitch marker okay and off we go All right, how did you go, guys? We're nearly there, nearly up to the stitch marker. And we'll take that stitch marker out because we are now in there. Whoops. 
forgot to bring that up. Sorry, guys. When I'm working away, I'm not even looking at the camera. <laughs> I'm not looking down the lens at all. I should be, shouldn't I? Here we go. Two and three. Chain one. Now, remember that set between the blue and the grey? You're going to pop your last cluster set of whatever colour you're using. I'm using a pink. Whoa. Without splitting the yarn like I just did. <laughs> pop that last cluster set there. Chain one. Once again, our stitch is in that third. So that blue stitch is right in the third one. So you're counting your one of the chain. Two and three. You're in a single. You're in the second stitch with a slip stitch. Chain one and two. Count one. That stitch there is one. Chain is two and your first double crochet is three with a single crochet. All right, turning your work. And of course we are missing that first space and we are jumping into your first space, second if you will, with your two double crochets, remember. Chain one and then jump into your next with your normal cluster set. So I'm hoping uh, this is making sense. It shouldn't be too much different from your um, previous uh, peaks. So you should get this. Having said that, there's a stitch mark. We're going to pop it in that second last space right there before the end. And we are going to be off and running. And I shall meet you when we get to that stitch marker. Don't forget to chain. And off we go. Alrighty guys, how did you go? Chain one. We are about to jump into that stitch marker stitch. So I'll take that out. And three, chain one. Alright. Now here we're going to jump into that space again, but remember I crochet over the tail. Not necessary for you to do that, but that's what I'll be doing here. So I'm going to jump into that space right there with your three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one. Now let's just get a nice close up here because we are actually in that middle stitch. So we're going one, the chain is two, and your first double crochet is three with a slip stitch. Chain one and two. And skip one, two, and you are jumping into your tight chain right there. That's not too bad with <laughs> a single crochet, hence the word not too bad. Turning your work. All right, so <laughs> missing that first space, you are doing a double crochet in your next space and a second double crochet. Yes, and your chains act as the third one. Chain one. jumping straight into your space again whoops with your cluster set two and three chain one and cluster set in that next space chain one all right now once again we're going to pop our stitch marker right in that second last space Okay, continue on along the row and I'll meet you there in just a second.
All right, guys, how did you go? Here we are. There's our little stitch marker. Jumping into that second last space with your cluster set. Chain one. All right, and we are going to pop our last set in that space right there. Two and three. Chain one. All right, so we are here in that third stitch. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm sorry, make that the first stitch. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to go one, two and three into your chain stitch there with a slip stitch. And you chain one and two and then you go one, two and you pop it in that very third stitch with a single crochet turning your work. So yarn over your hook, pop it in the space. Once and twice. And now you've got your chains as your third. Chaining one and off you go. Again for another peek. chain one okay stop it there because you have to pop in your stitch marker of course right there all right so off we go with our i would say final row of pink okay Alrighty guys, here we are, almost there, taking out that stitch marker, jumping into the space before your last space. Chain one, there is your last space, pop it in there, one, two, three chain one all right now here you're actually in that chain stitch there so you're going one two and you are slip stitching into the third stitch like so how many rows have we got one two three four that's it pull a loop through and give it a cut and your pink rows are done now okay and they are done on your right side, okay? Now that's the only thing about that is it's gonna be a little tricky because now you are starting your rows on your wrong side. So remember, you're not starting your pink on your right side. You are gonna turn your work. In fact, we're gonna do it right now. Yes. And find another blue and then start your pink. And if you're not sure, have a look at where your last thread was, right? Your first thread is there, yeah? When you're starting your next colour, you're always starting where you finished off a thread. So I hope that helps. You will always start where you finished off a thread, okay? Easy? Easy. All right, so what I want you to do, very basic, head off on your own, do one, two, three, and then meet me back here so that we can start on our very next colour. Very exciting, guys. Very, very exciting. Good luck, and I'll meet you back here in, I don't know, half an hour, one hour. <laughs> I'll meet you back soon. Alrighty, guys, that is our four points done. <laughs> They're all there. Hello. <laughs> As you can see, I'm doing the yellow for the next colour. 
Now, where we ended off um, on our very last thread is where we start. So that's where you ended off, okay? And we are actually working on the wrong side of our work, if you want to know, but at least you know that you're starting on the same area you just finished. So popping your hook in the third stitch from where you left off, which is there, and you are going one, two, I'll do a nice close up for you so you can see. And that's where we left off right there. So you're counting the chain as one, two, and then your middle stitch as three. All right, grabbing your yellow or whatever color you're using. I'm using the yellow, obviously. <laughs> it's like I, it's like I'm asking you to read my mind. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pull that loop through. Rub your tail end and you are starting. Chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. Pop your tail end over there. And away we go. We're going to crochet over that tail, remember, the pink one. Yarn over your hook, jumping straight into that pink space. And working over our tail. One. Two. And three. Chain one. Pop that tail at the back now. And off your trot into your very next space. And three. Chain one. One. Two. And three. Chain one. All right. Now for this side here, what we're going to do, I'm going to pop the stitch marker in for you. In the second last space, dearie me, try that. In the second last space, right there. But I would, what I would like for you to do, not to watch me go in fast motion, because it's getting um, much bigger now. Instead of watching me go in fast motion, I would like for you now to go ahead and do this off air and meet me back here in just a moment. Alrighty, guys, here we are, and here is our little stitch marker. Pop that out doing your second last cluster set trying to stop the blanket from falling off the table <laughs> oh it's getting too big for me guys <laughs> all right chain one now we are jumping directly into that space right there okay one two and three chain one and from here we are actually in our third stitch Get a nice close up. We're in that third stitch right there. So we are counting one, two, and right into that middle stitch with a slip stitch. Chain one and two. And again, we are counting back three. One, two, and your very first stitch, you pop your single crochet in. And then we're going to turn our work. Once again, missing that space there, jumping straight into your second space with your two double crochets not three like sometimes i put in <laughs> chain one and then popping three into your next set one two and three chain one and so on so guess what we're going to do again we're going to do exactly that we're going to pop our stitch marker right in that stitch just before your final stitch there and go ahead do that section there to the stitch and I'll meet you up. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. I'll take out that stitch marker. I really should be calling them sides. They're not exactly rows, are they? They're just sides. <laughs> I suppose we could call them a row, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there we go. We're nearly there. Chain one. Alright, now here we've got that tail. We're going to crochet over the tail, remember? At the end of the first or second round, I should say, we always crochet over the tail from the previous round. And away we go. One, two, and three. Chain one. All right, now we are in our second stitch. So we go one, two, and in that very first stitch you come to with a slip stitch. Yes. Then we are chaining one and two, and then we're going one, 
to and right into that tight little chain we do our single crochet yes turning your work all right so off we go we're skipping that mm, let's try that all right so off we go we're skipping that stitch right there that space and we're jumping into our very next space with two double crochets always remember the first set is two double crochets chain one and then you are going ahead and doing your cluster sets like normal okay there we go now what we're going to do one more time grab our little stitch marker popping it in our very second last stitch right there well I want to say stitch it's actually a space second last space right there okay go ahead with your yellow and I shall meet you up right here alrighty guys here we are let me take that stitch marker out okay now we're going to do it again one in the second last space like so chain one one in that last space two and three and chain one and let's blow that up a little bit more and there you go all right we are actually in that first stitch right there so it's one two and three right into that chain stitch with a slip stitch I nearly did a single crochet <laughs> and now we are chaining one and two and we are jumping one two and three we are in our last stitch there with a single crochet now we're going to flip our work okay and remember we're skipping that space right there and we're jumping into our very next one with one and two double crochets only chain one and we are putting a cluster set in that next space two and three chain one and you, well i'm not going to do it because i know you're going to do it because <laughs> it'll take forever because these rows are getting so big now we are popping our stitch marker in the space just before your last space and i shall meet you up Alrighty, guys here we are at the end of the row taking out that stitch marker okay there's your second last space i hope we're nearing the end here <laughs> it doesn't look like it somehow does it it just looks like it's going forever chain one jump into your last space between your yellow and your gray one two and three chain one and now you have your last stitch is in that chain right there so you're going one two and you are slip stitching into the third like so then you are chaining one and two and then you're skipping your chain one two and you are going into that second last or the middle stitch right there with a single crochet then you are yep you guessed it flipping your work all right here we go nice little close-up once again nearly knocked the stand okay there's the space that we're not supposed to go into we're going to jump into that very next space right there with a one and two chain one and jumping into your next space with a one two and you guessed it three <laughs> and a chain one all right grabbing your stitch marker yet again I think it looks like we're flying through this I was about to say we're flying but we're actually not and you know why because it takes us so long when we're off air to finish off this side <laughs> so pop your stitch marker in the second last space do this side and I shall meet you up in a moment alrighty guys here we are at the end of the row taking out that stitch marker doing your second last cluster in there two and three chain one jumping into your very last space in between your yellow and your gray with your last cluster two and three oh, not your last cluster your last cluster for the side 
<laughs> well, it's not even the one for the side, but anyway, hello. Okay, we are in our third stitch. We are skipping our chain, skipping that first double crochet, slip stitching into the second, and then we are chaining a one and two. We are skipping this double crochet, your chain, and your first, you're jumping into that first double crochet with a single crochet. Turning your work like so. I think we have two more rows, guys. <laughs> I could be wrong this row and the next row. I'm pretty sure that's that's right. <laughs> so we are doing L, jumping into that space right there, remember, with our two double crochets. Chain one. And then you are popping your very first cluster in that next space. Chain one. And you guessed it, we're going to grab that stitch marker once again. We're going to pop her, or him, <laughs> right in that second last stitch. Or space, I should say, right there. Right there. Closing up. And off you go, do that side there, and I'll meet you up here in a moment. Alrighty, guys, here we are at the end of this side as well. Oops, I forgot to take that stitch marker out. Popping your last cluster set in this space here one two and three chain one and your very very last cluster set between your lemon or yellow whatever you want to call it and your gray chaining one all right so we're skipping that third we're skipping that third double crochet then we're skipping the chain and we're going straight into that very first stitch. So it's one, two, and three with a slip stitch right there. Now we are at the end of our corner. So this is actually our very last row. Get excited, guys. <laughs> no more stitch marker. Well, we, do, we will need a stitch marker for this last row, but uh, get excited. <laughs> so you're turning your work. I'm sorry. You're chaining one, two, and three and popping your stitch marker in first and then turning your work. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> Get it right, Mary. Deary me. Okay, so now you are doing in that space, the, oh, nice close up now. Now you're actually working in that first space. You are putting your two double crochets in that first space, which is one and two. And your chain three will act as your third double crochet. All right, now we are chaining one and we are doing our cluster sets all the way across the row. Okay, so chain one. What I'm going to do, because I've just occupied that stitch marker there, I'm gonna take this one here out. You can leave yours in. Um, if you want to take it out, that's fine, but you can leave yours in because you'll know where to start in your next round anyway, because you've done one yellow already, okay? So there we go. What I want you to do, and what we've been doing all along, is that whole side, get to this stitch marker, and I shall meet you up. Alrighty, guys, here we are at the end of the side. All right, so that's our, oh, let's take that stitch marker out. You'll need that in a minute, by the way. So you're going to do a normal cluster set in there, like normal. No difference. Chain one and you are doing a normal cluster set between your yellow and your grey. One, two and three. Alright, what I want you to do, I don't know why I pulled that thread out just now. That is actually the end of our side. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. What you're going to do is pull a loop through. Oh, that didn't work. Let's do that. Let's move over a little bit. Bring that out a bit. That's better. So that's the end of our side, yes? You're going to pull a loop through. Make it nice and long, okay? Don't make it so tight because you're going to be taking that on later. And just leave it loose, all right? Because what I would like for you to do, and this is the interesting part, guys, and you know this part because you've done this, you know, so many times before, you need to head off on your own. Oh, it's a lot of work, isn't it? Look at that. You need to head off on your own and repeat that yellow on all 
of the other three sides. Okay, now where do you start? Remember where you start? You start where you find a tail. Where you find a pink tail, that's where you start your yellow. Pink tail up here, you're starting your yellow on this side. Pink tail here, whoops, where is it? <laughs> there, and you're starting your yellow on that side. Now, what I would like also like for you to do is when you when you get to each side, don't meet me back here after you've completed each side. Just pop your little knot in each side, pop your little stitch marker on the other side, continue on all three peaks. We've already done the first peak there. So now all you have to do is these two peaks right here and the one in the middle. Continue all three peaks and we're not going to come back next week. Stop your video now, go and do your three peaks, come back to this video right now and we will join all four peaks at one time, okay? And then we'll put the two rows of the border that we usually put on to make our, let's do it this side so you can see better, to make our square, all right? So that's our square, it's all bubbled up at the moment because I've been squashing it all up to fit it into the screen. So finish off all three yellows Meet me back here on this same video and we will put the border rows on. Now it's going to take you a while, so good luck and I'll meet you back here, I don't know, three or four months. <laughs> I'll meet you back here in half an hour to an hour or more. <laughs> meet you back soon. Good luck, guys. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> I've had to stand up to do this. <laughs> this is where you should be at right now. <laughs> that is our right side because we have our stitch marker in there and here are all our joins ready to be joined okay so we're going to do that part now and do the first row of the border and see how we go um, I'll be using the cream for that part all right so whatever color you wish to use is fine so I'm not going to talk we're just going to get started good luck guys all righty guys and as you can see I have um, different kinds of stitch markers as well just thought I'd show you that one because that's another type that I don't use very often um, but I do use occasionally all right you didn't need to take yours out sorry guys I just wanted to show you that this is our very last corner that I did the other ones still have their stitch marker in and I've got the thread sitting very lightly on on there okay so let's just finish that very last one that we're doing right now and you know what you need to do make sure you've got your chain one there so you've done your three double crochets chain one and then you come right across into your stitch where your stitch marker was pulling your loop through and pulling it through to the loop on your hook pull up the loop hold it there for a minute remember what we do we flatten it out and make sure it's even. You don't want it pulling, you don't want it too loose, and you don't want it too tight. All right, so that's pretty much even. So all I'm going to do right now is hold everything there. Mm, I better cut it first, hey. <laughs> there you go. Whoops, there you go. So we're just going to pull it out, and there you go. That one's ready, all right? The bonus of doing it like this is that we're going to do them all at once, and there's your other one right there. Now yours truly is going to have to take that undone. I still think we should have put stitch markers everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but this is what I've done and I'm going to be making an absolute mess and I think I just pinned myself there. Of course I did. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> well, there we go. So mine's come undone. All right, let's fix that up. And I knew it would. <laughs> Here we go. Chaining one. All right, so there's your other side, right there. That stitch marker split the yarn there. I'm just gonna have a quick look. No, good. So I'm gonna pop, it has. <laughs> oh dear, what can you do with me? What do you do? All right, there we go. That's better. <laughs> and we're in. Grabbing your other side of your thread, pulling it through, pulling it through to the loop on your hook. Pull up a loop. Now before you pull that through, remember what we do. We stretch it all out, make sure it all fits nice and it's not pulling and tugging anywhere. And gently pull that through. And that side's done as well. Let's do the next one. And there we go. 
it's a lot bigger now guys so it's hard for me to keep on the board i do apologize for waiting <laughs> in between each side so here we go we're going to take that out oh that's not it that was it talk amongst yourselves for a minute guys <laughs> sorry well that's not it either <laughs> let's get that needle back there we go. <laughs> you guys are thinking, oh, hurry up, woman. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Please don't yell at me. I get very sad and cry. Okay, pull and look through. <laughs> okay, and that's split the yarn too. I am doing so well with this yarn splitting lately. I've been doing it a lot, haven't I? It's so uncontrollable. And there's one stitch, and there's the other stitch. It's not the yarn, it's the yarn. Um, the user the person using the yarn oh gosh remember we're pulling that loop through but before we finish give everything a tug all right nice tug so it doesn't pull and this one here might pull a little bit because it's only in our third stitch rather than our second which is interesting isn't it pull that loop through and there you go that one's done too how many have we got left just one <laughs> oh please don't let me too tight ah no that's not too tight that'll come undone easy and again so does my work <laughs> oh dear what to do what to do what to do and we're in. and I'll just do that stitch again I'm finding I'm doing the stitch again on each round <laughs> and we're on the last one I'm still doing the stitch again all right there we go and please tell me you're not split and you're split too. Of course you are. Why do I split this yarn? It's me. It is me, isn't it? <laughs> there's your stitch. And there's your stitch. Grabbing that thread. Whoops. Pull that loop through. Pull it through the loop on the hook. And pull up your... Whoops. Whoops. I just split that yarn myself again. Pull that loop through. Now I can feel that tugging all over the place. Have a look at that. Really? This is what we're doing? No. Stretch it out nice. Get that grey thread out the way. And then just pull that loop through. Alright, so that's that. And yes, guys, we have now completed that section. So what do we have to do now? We have to grab our thread. And firstly, we're going to find out... Here. First, we're going to make sure we are on our right side and we're actually on the wrong side. See that? So, let's go to the right side and there's the right side. Okay, remember we put our stitch marker in? I don't know if you took yours out. I took mine out, but I popped it back in. And the right side, if you have messed it up or taken yours out and you're not sure, the right side is where you see this beautiful soft look in the middle, just the middle for a second. And the other wrong side is where you see all the bubbled, kind of bubbly edges. See the bubbly kind of look? That's the wrong side, okay? And eventually you have to put all these threads through to the wrong side. But for now, let's worry about starting our very next round. Now your next round, remember what we do with this next round? We start in any normal corner, not our peaks where we just joined, but any normal corner. All right, so grab your hook. Pop it in. Oh, don't pull it out. <laughs> Pop it in. And away we go. Pass your thread over. Chaining one. By the way, I'm using the white. I know I mentioned that before, but I'll mention it again. Two and three. And before you start, grab a stitch marker, any one you like. Well, there's a dozen open, that one. It's a bit locked for some reason. So anyone you like, pop your stitch marker through without splitting the stitch, which I, I think I just did. Oh dear, what to do? And do your two double crochets in the same corner. One and two. Just hold it there because the blanket's falling off the table and I can't work this way. So I have to do what I've been doing lately and rolling it up. Give me one moment, guys. All right, so now I'm not just rolling up, I'm also flipping over. Have a look at that. Okay, otherwise I can't work. <laughs> so here we go. All right. We did our three, I'm sorry, we did our two double crochets and chain 
chain three and two double crochets and now we need to chain one and two and I'm still crocheting over my tail there as you guys know that already three double crochets over that tail one whoops bring that down two and three is that too far away for you guys sorry chain one let me bring that in a bit how's that good just pop your tail at the back there and jump into your very next space with your three double crochets chain one this is basic chain one three double crochets And chain one. All right, now do yourself a favor. Grab your stitch markers. Put them in front of every middle set. All right, so pop that in your the stitch just before your middle. Yeah? Uh, grab your stitch marker. Oh, we lost the crochet hook then. And pop it in the very next one, just before your middle set grab another stitch marker and I just wound this up too didn't I <laughs> pop it in the other set just before your middle set there okay and that's your very last whoops I'll pop it here because that's the way to get there first okay that's your very last one so now that we have our stitch markers in place I need you to do your cluster sets all the way across. Now I'm just going to speed this first cluster set part, all right, because I know we've got to get to that side any moment now, or to that first stitch marker any moment now. All the way across to that stitch marker. And off we go. Chain one, one, two, three, chain one. Oh, let me bring that a little bit closer for you. All right, we're at our stitch marker there, which is the space right before our main set of stitches. Take out your stitch marker and do your cluster set in that space before your peak stitches chain one all right now as we've done in the past we've had to hold on to all of our space there and our chains so yarn over your hook go around your gray and your yellow or whatever colors you use around all thicknesses and do your three double crochets around it and you're not finished there guys you're going to be weaving that end in as well you're not just going to be doing this part you're going to weave that in you're not just going to crochet over it and hope for the best no this blanket will come undone if you don't weave that in all right heads up there now jumping into your next space with your don't forget to chain one between three double crochets always remember those chain ones yeah chain one and three double crochets you can't half tell I'm tired today <laughs> I'm losing stitches I'm splitting stitches I'm doing not well <laughs> not doing well doing not well or well, not doing well <laughs> all right and there you go all right oh, <laughs> that didn't work let's bring that out a bit and there you go so that is our join we've joined our gray our yellow together with our white perfect now what I want you to do is continue in this manner Remember when you get to your corner, you're doing your double cluster set, three double crochets, chain two, and then get to your very next stitch marker and I shall meet you up. Alrighty guys, here we are at peak number two. 
Number two, we're nearly there. Stitch before the peak, we need to place our three double crochets and chain one. And what is that? I don't know, a little bit of fluff. All right, so here we are at our peak. Remember what we do here, we go through all thicknesses. All right, so there's your tail end. Give it a bit of a tug. There's your gray, there's your yellow. Yarn over, pop it through and around all thicknesses with your three double crochets. And three, and then chain one. And then from there, you are jumping directly into your very next space. Bit of a big jump there, isn't it, this time? Don't worry, there's nothing washing and blocking can't fix. And for those of you who are joining us and you're wondering what is washing and blocking, you'll find out at the end of our blanket. <laughs> when we have nearly finished our blanket. And three. All right, chain one. So that is your very next peak done. All right, now what you're going to do, you're going to go around this way and get to peak number three and I shall meet you up. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. I have my cluster set in that stitch marker space. I forgot to take the stitch marker say, out. Chain one. And get rid of that stitch marker. So here you are. Oh, it's getting all blurry. Let me get a nice little close-up for you. There we go. Alright, so here we are. That grey belongs to that stitch. See that? chain stitch those chain stitches there that gray belongs to that okay so what you're going to do is you're going to crochet over your yellow tail again you're going to jump straight into that gray space and around your yellow again like so one two three chain one dropping everything at the back and then you're skipping over all of this and jumping straight into your next space with a one, two, and three. Chain a one, next space. A one, two, and three. Chain one. Now that was peak number three. So now, guess what, guys? Our very last peak will be our very next one, okay? So go ahead and do all of this side here and get to that very last peak and I shall meet you up. Alrighty, guys, here we are at the end of this side too. Let's take that stitch marker out. Very interesting stitch marker, that one. Yes, anyway, <laughs> pop your, I just wanted to show you some different ones that I have in stock. And actually, over the next few weeks, I'll show you different things that I do have in stock. Chain one. All right, so here we are near our, um, you know, big cluster set there. You're going to pop your hook in the big space around all thicknesses with your one double crochet, your two double crochet. I hope you chain one first. And your three three double crochets if I can get it done there you go okay now best part is guys bring that out a little bit let me have a look there that's all you've got left for this row so I'm not going to turn that off let's just move that out the way you can move your tail right out the way I'm not going to turn off the camera I'm just going to keep uh, crocheting along and I'll put it in fast motion okay so off we go and we're finishing off this side of row one of our border and off we go
guys, how did you go? It's, it's such a big blanket now. It takes so long to get around, doesn't it? <laughs> Alrighty, here we're in our last cluster. Right there, that very last phase. But get excited, you have one more row to go for this particular kaleidoscope peak. And I don't think I've split the yarn there, but you know what? I'm not going to take a risk. I'm going to take mine out. You can keep yours in until you're ready to slip stitch. All right, so you slip your stitch in that stitch right there. Don't forget to chain before you slip stitch here. And pull that loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook. Now, do you remember what we do here? We actually go straight into that very next stitch with a slip stitch across one and then we do it in the next stitch slip stitch across two and guess what one more time straight in that big space and slip stitch chaining one two and three grabbing your stitch marker let's see if i try not to split the yarn this time <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> now you're putting two double crochets in that same space one and two chain one and two all right and then you do your double cluster set well actually this is the first part of the double cluster set A second part sorry guys <laughs> wake up mary <laughs> i'm so tired we've almost finished this peak of the blanket <laughs> and the best part about this part guys is we've almost finished a part where we're up to the smaller size of our blanket. Now, truly wonderful. All right, what I would like for you to do, and this is your best part, guys, is chaining one. I would like for you to, oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. Go ahead and put a three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in every space you come to. And when you get to here, it's three double crochet, chain one, here, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, all the way across. And guess what? You're going to do that all the way around. And then you're going to go all the way right before the stitch marker that we just put in and meet me right there. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Alrighty, guys, here I am at the end of the row. Sorry about the lighting. I just wanted to finish off the blanket and it's way in the afternoon. <laughs> But I really wanted to finish it off today so you can get it tomorrow. Yarn over your hook, you're going to do your last cluster set in that space before your stitch marker. Two and three. Chain one. And now we are going to slip stitch into that space and this time I did not split the yarn. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I split it coming through. There it is. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> I get so naughty, don't I? I was doing so well in this tutorial, wasn't I? <laughs> Pull a loop through. Give your work a cut. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back, guys. Because truly, you have just finished your next peaked blanket. This is our right side. Okay, now you would have had a lot of ends on this side only because um, I decided to change my colours. Oops, <laughs> decided to change my colours on the different side than normal. So what you do is you just grab your hook and you pull that end through for now. And you've got to weave these in, guys. <laughs> I just want you to do this part here so we can have a quick look, see at... The blanket now you're doing it all over your blanket just pull all your ends through to the other side because that is your wrong side okay and you want to weave your ends in on the wrong side so if you do this you won't make the mistake by accidentally weaving them in on the right side yes uh, oh, I can't get that gray through that's really difficult to get through I'll get that through later myself um, there 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 well here we go there's more
so what I'm going to do right now is just pop up on the screen the measurements of this blanket pretty cool huh now these are the measurements of the blanket as they stand this is the size the small size blanket I made um, when I first started the kaleidoscope blanket and this is a size I make for parents of newborns who again just want to bring baby in and out of the car or you know in and out of the house so just popping it over baby whilst they're walking in and out if you wanted a blanket that's bigger then you need to go one step further now this is part five of our kaleidoscope blanket however if you want your blanket bigger you need to join me here next week for part six what <laughs> am i going to make it bigger yes i am however just a quick heads up it won't be uploaded on monday there is no way i'm gonna get the blanket done by monday okay so don't expect that on monday guys it probably won't go up till about thursday um we'd be lucky if we get it up tuesday not likely it's more likely thursday because this blanket this particular part from here to here took me so long um, and I was supposed to upload this blanket earlier this afternoon and it looks like it's not going to go up for another day or so because I have to go ahead and edit it before I see you on my live on Saturday <laughs> for those of you joining us new we have lives on Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. every week um, and lives on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. every week. This is Melbourne, Australia time, by the way, if you're interested. Um, and we hope to have all these ends done by then. <laughs> we, notice how I say we. <laughs> have all your ends weaved in by then so that you can join me again on Thursday of next week for our next part to be uploaded, which is part six. Now, uh, just a quick one, if you would like to leave your blanket this size, then go ahead, weave in all your ends, wait about a week and a half and I may have a border if you are interested in popping a border row on your blanket. If you're not interested in popping a border row, then just weave in all your ends, come back and see me in a couple of weeks time, we will wash and block our blanket. Yes, we will, because that is what I do when I finish my blankets. If you don't want to wash and block, by all means, you don't have to, but I do, because look at the little bubbles occasionally. You get little bubbles. It happens with this kind of blanket. Looking at it carefully, tiny little bubbles, tiny, tiny. They're very small, but they're there, okay? So you would, you would probably want to wash and block your blanket. Okay, now in the meantime, guys, head off on your own, weave in all your ends. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all the wonderful things you do for me. Also, guys, don't forget, we are currently in the middle of a giveaway. I will leave a link to the giveaway in the description box down below. Click on that link, head over to our giveaway, watch the video. You need to watch it in full to answer the question because you'll notice everybody has different answers. So watch it in full and then go ahead and answer the question from the video and wait until Sunday the 25th of October at 10 a.m. That's the closing time for the giveaway. That's Melbourne Australia time by the way and 4 p.m. Melbourne Australia time I will announce the winners or we'll do the drawing of the winners all right so thank you so much for watching yay <laughs> we've finished part five of our blanket is it all out it is oh this is about as far as we're going to get it sorry guys <laughs> don't forget to weave in those ends and all I want to say right now guys is mm -hmm. ciao for now <laughs>